Now we're going to move into our hip flexors. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up our right leg and we're going to flex the foot and bend the knee in towards us. And then you're going to reach that right leg out, point the toe and press your heel into the ground. Try to get a nice big opening across the front of your hip. So flex and bend it in, activate your hip and now reach it out and point it, extend or stretch the front of the hip. Flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Two more, flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Feel this open here, flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Excellent. Bring that foot back up underneath you and let's go the other side. Flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. Two more. Flex and bring it in and point and reach it out. One more, flex and bring it in, and point and reach it out. Hollow those abs as you bring that back up. Now we're gonna work on a little bit of a diagonal. So you're gonna extend the right leg open on a little bit of a diagonal, and then you're gonna flex and bring it in across your body a little bit. Extend and open, point the toe, press to the heel. Flex and draw it across and extend and open. Flex and draw it across. Two more. Open and draw it across and reach it out on the diagonal. Open and draw it across. And now let's put that right foot down and we'll do the left foot. Flex and extend. Extend it out on your diagonal, and now you're gonna flex and draw it in and across. Reach it out on the diagonal, point the toe and press down, flex the foot and bring the leg in. And again, reach it out, point it, stretch the hip open, and flex and bring it in. Two more, reach, extend and open and flex, bring it in. One more, reach, extend it, open, and flex, and draw it in, and put that foot down. Now we're gonna go back to the first side and bring your leg up to the sky, and let's flex the foot here, and then you're gonna point and reach the leg away all the way to the ground and press to your heel, and then flex the foot Bring it back up to the ceiling. Point it and reach it down and flex and reach it up. Now as we do this, point, reach it down. Try not to let the ball roll out from underneath you. Flex and bring it up. Two more, point, reach it down. Nice big opening in the hip, flex and bring it up last time. Point and reach it down and flex and bring it up. Put that foot down. Other leg goes up. We're going to flex the foot here. And again, point. Try not to let the ball go wibbly wobbly on you. And then flex and bring it up. Notice your standing leg. Point. Reach it down. Try that your knee is not going all over the place either. Flex and bring it up. Point and reach it down. Flex and bring it up two more times. Point, reach it down. Flex, bring it up. One more. Point, reach it down. Flex and bring it up. Excellent. All right. You can roll offside a little bit and take the ball out from underneath 
you can also just lift the hips and pull the ball out but I like to roll side now we're going to take the ball and we're going to put it in between our knees so this is just a little guide to make sure our knees are going straight to the sky make sure the ball of the big toe the pinky toe and the heels are down if you want to add a little extra fun press your index fingers down and turn the insides of your elbows straight up to the sky we're going to take a big inhale and then as we exhale we're going to lift the hips straight to the sky and then as you inhale you're going to roll your spine down to the ground and again exhale lift the hips straight up and roll the spine down that's two exhale lift the hips up and roll the spine down three exhale lift and inhale roll that's four exhale lift and roll that's five all right now if you still have some gusto we're going to go the other way you're going to exhale curl under and roll the pelvis up and now crease it down one and roll the pelvis up and now stick your tailbone out and have your twist touch down before your lower back touches down two and now roll through your spine up and crease at the hip to roll back down three two more roll the spine up crease at the hip and lower down four one more roll the spine up and crease at the hip and lower down five all right we're going to take the ball out from in between our knees and put it under our feet and we're going to do some foot exercises so you're still going to be lying on your back hands are going to be on the ground and you're going to have your feet draped over the ball you're going to try to feel like your feet are relaxed even though you're moving the ball forward and back and you're going to reach your toes forward to the ground keep your toes and your heels touching the ball and now you'll reach your heels backwards to the ground try to keep those toes on the ball and again you're going to go forward and then reach the heels backwards and reach the toes forward and heels backwards two more forward and backwards and forward and backwards now we're going to extend the legs so you're going to straighten the legs and point the toes then you're going to flex the feet and draw the ball back in Point the toes as you straighten the legs. Flex the feet as you draw it back in. Point the toes as you extend the legs. Flex the feet as you draw it back in. Two more. Point it as you roll the ball forward. Flex it as you roll it up. Point it as you go forward and flex it as you come up reset and we're going to do the opposite now flex as you bring the ball forward point as you draw it up one flex reach it forward point and draw it up two flex and reach the ball forward and point and reach it up three flex and reach it forward point and reach it up four one more flex and reach it forward and point and reach it up five now you're going to reach your legs out long toes are pointed turn the legs out at the hips try and keep your heels together one go back to parallel two and parallel three and parallel turn out and parallel turn out and parallel flex the feet 
and turn out at the hips and bring it parallel two and parallel three and parallel a four and parallel a five and parallel very good you're going to bring the legs back up and now we're going to open and close the knees with the feet on the ball turn out with your knees bent bring it to parallel and two bring it to parallel and three bring it to parallel and four bring it to parallel and five bring it to parallel now you're going to bring your heels on the ball and have your feet flexed keep the heels together turn out and parallel and two and parallel and three and parallel and four and parallel one more turn it out and turn it in yay we've made it all right remove your ball out of the way so those were our lying on our back exercises or supine exercises let's take a moment and regroup and see how our body feels allow your knees to drop together and like we did in the beginning allow your arms to press over your chest and close your eyes and just do a nice little body check here see how we're feeling notice your breathing notice your thoughts notice any points of tension or pain and just compare the difference from when we started a few moments ago to now and see how you're doing. And then release out of it. Open your eyes a moment. Go ahead, turn yourself side and come on up to see it. Excellent. So those were our lying on our back exercises with the over ball. In the next section, we're going to do a series of exercises lying on our side. So take a little water break and then come back and we'll do a little bit more. Let's move into our side lying sequence. We're going to take our little ball and we're going to lie on our side. So how we set this up is your top leg is going to be out straight and your bottom leg is going to be bent. The ball is going to be at your lower rib cage and you're going to slide down around the ball. And we're just going to start with some breathing. You can bring your hand by your side, you can bring your hand on to the ground in front of you. You can put your hand on your rib, whatever works best. And we're gonna take five deep breaths. And as we breathe, you're gonna try and reach the breath towards the ceiling. All right, here we go. Big inhale and big exhale. And big inhale and big exhale so we're expanding into our top rib right now big inhale and big exhale two more like this one more We're going to take our top arm, reach it straight down by your side, flex your feet with some energy, make sure they're pressing into the ground. Take a big inhale into that top rib, and as you exhale, scoop it down and engage that rib cage and bring yourself up on a little diagonal. Inhale around the ball. Inhale, scoop and reach out through the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale, 
reach out to. Inhale. And again. Let's do two more. One more. As you inhale, let's reach our top arm to the sky. And now exhale, bring it back down by your side. Inhale, arm to the sky. Exhale, back down by your side. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring it up overhead if you like. And reach it out in a way one. Rainbow that arm all the way up overhead. Exhale, reach it out to the hip too. Three, two more. Four. Five, and lower down and rest a moment. All right, we're gonna flip over to the other side. I'm gonna give you a back view so you can see what's going on. So we're gonna flip on over. And then you're, again, you're gonna take the ball underneath your rib cage, your lower rib cage. Both feet are flexed, front bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight, bottom arm is reaching out up overhead. And this hand can be in front of you. It can be holding onto your rib cage or you can have it at your side. Let's do our five breaths here. Big inhale. Open through this rib cage. Big exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Good, bring this arm down by your side now. Big inhale through the top rib. Now as you exhale, scoop it down and reach the head out and away. Inhale, lower, expand the top rib. Exhale, shoot the head out and away. Big inhale. Big exhale. Last one. As you inhale, lower down, reach the top arm to the sky. And exhale, bring it down towards your side. Inhale up to the ceiling. Exhale out in the way. Inhale up into the ceiling. Exhale out and away. Two more. One more. Now we're going to bring that arm up and all the way overhead as we inhale. And then exhale. Up and back down by the side. Again. Inhale up and over. And exhale. Out and down. Inhale up and over. Exhale out and down. Two more.
One more. Good. Let's inhale over. And then as we exhale, let's come on up to seated carefully. And now let's take a little rest. Yay, we've made it. All right, remove your ball out of the way. So those were our lying on our back exercises or supine exercises. Let's take a moment and regroup and see how our body feels. Allow your knees to drop together. And like we did in the beginning, allow your arms to cross over your chest and close your eyes and just do a nice little body check here. See how we're feeling. Notice your breathing. Notice your thoughts. Notice any points of tension or pain and just Compare the difference from when we started a few moments ago to now and see how you're doing. And then release out of it. Open your eyes a moment. Go ahead, turn yourself side and come on up to see it.